The Halo universe is old, full of mysteries that might never be properly explained. It was once thought that the Forerunners were the biggest mystery of all, but before the Forerunners, there were the Precursors. Little is known of Precursor civilization, but we do know this. They were intergalactic civilization, capable of creating life, and they were old, possibly older than the universe itself. At the close of the Forerunner Flood War, it was revealed that the Precursors had used the Milky Way as a repository of all their gathered knowledge. The knowledge of 100 billion years. The Precursors have existed for unknown eons often in different forms and at different levels of technological achievement, but always present. They have been everything from hyper-advanced spacefaring civilizations to primitives bound to their homeworld. They have existed as physical beings and in the realm of the immaterial. They have been through all stages of technological and cultural development more times than can be counted. The Precursors were the holders of the mantle, a philosophy that held all life as sacred and believed in the concept of living time, the joy of life's interaction with the cosmos, as the Forerunners would later put it. Another concept, called neurophysics, was core to the precursor technology and philosophy. Technology created with this science could withstand the forces of time in a way not thought possible. Precursor structures would stand for millions of years, being cycled through a planet's natural tectonic forces, only to re-emerge unscathed. Millions of years in the past, the precursors were inhabiting the Milky Way and bringing light to the stars. The Precursors would raise dozens or perhaps hundreds of species across the galaxy. These species, when it was determined that they were ready, would be tested to see if they were worthy of inheriting the mantle of responsibility. Very little is known of this time, what criteria was used for testing, nor the exact nature of this test. What is known is that every species failed. Eventually a species known as the Forerunners were tested, and they were found wanting. When confronted with this truth, the Forerunners rose up and struck at their creators. Why this happened is still a point of contention. According to one source, the Forerunners rose up in anger. According to another, they fought because the Precursors were known to destroy species that had failed their test. The truth has been lost to time. What is known is that the Forerunners hunted the Precursors to near extinction, causing the Precursors to flee to a nearby satellite galaxy, the Large Magellanic Cloud. However, the Forerunners pursued. With the majority of their civilization remaining in the Milky Way, a Forerunner fleet was sent after the fleeing Precursors. With their species seemingly at an end, the Precursors took to extreme measures, some sealing themselves in stasis pods, while most reduced themselves to a powdered form that they might be resuscitated at a later date. With their campaign of extermination seemingly at an end, the forerunners of the pursuing fleet killed themselves, ashamed of their crime. With no way to know the truth, the forerunners that had remained in the Milky Way forgot the nature of their creation, and life moved on. In time, the Precursors and the Forerunner trip to the large Magellanic Cloud faded into legend. The Precursors came to be thought of as enigmatic creators, beings beyond comprehension that had seeded life in the galaxy, passed the mantle onto the Forerunners, and then moved on. The truth would remain buried in the past for millions of years until two civilizations came to arms and a new Precursor legacy would be brought to light. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe share it around on whatever social media you choose. Your support is greatly appreciated. I cannot stress that enough. Thanks for watching.